Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. Queen & Company recently released some new bling. These are called sea stones and they're just beautiful. They have an iridescent look to them with sort of a fish scale or mermaid scale design on them. They come in eight different colors and they're sold as a bundle. They also have a new six by six paper pad. This is called the Petite Patterns. It's got a rainbow of colors and all tone-on-tone -tone designs. So one side is all small polka dots and the other has a chevron design. There are three of each color and I have already used a few of these. So that teal color, I only have one sheet left. But these are beautiful and the colors go very nicely with all of their other paper pads. So for my card today, I'm going to be using the Petite Patterns, also the Under the Sea 6x6 paper pad. And I'm going to use a sketch by Freshly Made Sketches. This is number 380. So the first two pattern papers I'm using are from the Under the Sea paper collection. So I'm just keeping them simple with a tone-on-tone -tone design. So I have that wavy paper in the background and then the gray polka dot paper. And then using the Petite Pattern Paper Collection, I cut out all of these little starfish, which this die is actually from the Sand Dollar die that is included in the Under the Sea kit. So it has this extra little piece to put on the inside of that Sand Dollar, but alone, I think they look a lot like starfish. So I cut out nine of them following this sketch, just an assortment of pink and then also the teal. I have them arranged in alternating colors and they're not perfectly straight. I wanted to keep them a little more natural, just kind of rotating them slightly. So I don't want them in those perfect straight little rows. So I'm just gonna use some liquid adhesive and I'm adhering all of those right onto that gray polka dot paper. It's always fun to find an alternative use for a dye. I think this would also look really lovely as a flower, especially if you did a couple of them and layered them together. Now just go ahead and adhere those last couple of starfish on this gray polka dot panel. And I did modify the sketch measurements just a little bit, just so I could accommodate all of these little starfish. So that gray polka dot paper is three and a half inches by three and a quarter. And then my matted layers are all an additional eighth of an inch. So now I'm gonna use one of the sentiments. This is from the Under the Sea kit. And this is the Wish Upon a Starfish. So I really think these look like starfish. And so I stamped that using some pink ink. And I'm gonna layer that on some more of this teal cardstock. And I did use one of the foundation die sets with this stitched banner. I absolutely love, I believe it's the foundation two set and I use it all the time. So now just to add a little extra interest to the card, I'm using some of the Trio trims. And this is the blue color and it's a really nice teal color with a little bit of sparkle in there. So I'm just using one strand going across the bottom of the card. And just to adhere it in place, I'm using some of the red line tape, holding those ends on the back side. And then I'm gonna use quite a bit of ATG just to make sure that that panel doesn't move at all. Put it on some layering cardstock. And then I'll go ahead and put that whole card front onto a white card base. I tend to always use white card bases, at least that way I know I can still write a message inside. If you use a colored cardstock, especially a dark color, sometimes you have to add a liner so you can still write on the inside and let it be seen. So since that sentiment is gonna be going on top of this twine, I do wanna put a little bit of foam dimension just around it and kind of sandwich it in place. So it's gonna center it. I wasn't sure if I wanted it off to one side, but I did finally decide to just keep it in the center. And then I'm just tying a very small bow with this twine over on that left-hand side. And I don't want it to be very big because I don't want it covering up any of the sentiment. So later I'll probably add a little bit of liquid glue on that one side of the bow just so it stays in place. So now I'm gonna pull out the beautiful sea stones and I just chose two of the colors and I'm putting one in the center of all of the little starfish. So I don't know, maybe that now makes it look more like a flower versus a starfish, but 
I love these sea stones so much. They change color depending on how the light hits them since they have that iridescent look to them. So it's really beautiful. So just one finishing touch, I'm gonna to put just a small strip of the pattern paper on the inside of the card. And there is my finish card. I just love the pink and teal colors together. I will have links in the description box if you are interested in purchasing any of the products that I used on this card. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.